All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, a lot of people having a lot of issues with shooting, but what people don't know is there's a three-tier system as far as shooting. It's your attributes, your bad setup, and then your ability. Your ability is last. I don't know why they did it like that this year, but if you don't have the right attributes or the right bad setup, you're not going to be able to shoot the basketball. It's just not going to happen. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to rank each shooting badge in order of importance or how, how effective it is. And uh, we're going to give you guys some more insight on each one of them. We're going to be using my list and then we're going to use the NBA 2K Labs list. Hopefully you'll go walk away from this video with a little bit more insight on how to set your badges up and do your thing. So if y'all don't do nothing else, like the video, man. It helps the channel grow. And all I want to do is help you guys get better at this game. Take it from somebody who's shooting almost 70% from the three-point line, man, with a stretch five. Come on, man. You got to give me some credit. Anyway, let's just get right into the video. NATO! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head. All right, so this is what we got right here, man. This is the NBA 2K Lab joint. This is what they said. This is their tiers and uh it's the badges in order of importance. I, I, I feel like this is the uh the order of importance and effectiveness and you know what you should put your badge points on now i'm not gonna sit here and tell you that this is wrong because it's not a lot of it is right and a lot of it is just showing you you know i, I just think of what it's telling you is if you're going to spend your badge points these are the things that you want to spend it on and uh and in this order and uh, I, I completely agree with that first part you got range extender i told y'all in my video it's one of the first badges that you want to spend points on you got to get the range extended because it helps everywhere it feels like then hot zone hunter and if you're spot up you want to use catch and shoot now if you're not a spot up then you know catch and shoot becomes a little bit less important and uh tier a they got dead eye they've got flexible release and then they got green machine in tier a and and i, I completely I, I agree with that i agree with that pick and pop in tier b uh deep phase and they do have a different one for the park and for wreck and and, and pro-am but i'm just doing the park one right here uh pick and popper deep phase steady shooter uh corner specialist difficult shots those are in the beats here and then in the c tier they've got hot start ice and veins pump fake maestro uh slippery off ball volume shooter clutch shooter and then they've got the uh the tireless shooter now a lot of those are really good and i i can definitely agree with a lot of them but what we're going to do right here is we're going to do our own list i've i've gone in i got all the badges we've got every badge that's in the game all all 18 of them i think it's 18 of them or, or what have you that's what they had up there but we're going to assign them uh to the tier list so we've got obviously we've got the same tiers that they've got s tier b tier a tier c tier and ish tier because there's some badges in this game that are just straight garbage tier badges. I mean, as far as like how you're gonna wanna play and stuff like that, look, every badge is usable. Every badge can be used, but let's be honest. Some of these badges belong in the ish tier. Chief among them, Ice and Veins. Come on, man. Does anybody really need Ice and Veins? Do you really use Ice and Veins? Like, if you can't shoot free throws at the beginning of the game, I don't think you're going to be able to shoot them at the end of the game. It helps you shoot free throws. It helps you shoot free throws. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. I don't think anybody in the history of the game has, has ever used it. I even think that they haven't used it to the point. Because it's not like, like, the re, like real basketball where the ball may find its hand. I mean, find itself in the hands of somebody that cannot shoot the basketball at the end of the game, really. That's rarely going to happen because the worst shooter is probably going to be inbounding the ball. Everybody else is gone, and then they're going to give it to the guard. And even, like, the situations that happen in real basketball, they really don't lend itself to the ball getting into the hands of a big man that can't shoot the ball. And even if so, he should have around a 72, I mean, a 70 or so free throw you should be able to knock those down i just think this is an ish tier badge i'm not even gonna lie to y'all but uh y'all get the y'all get the uh y'all get the the idea conversely like i said this guy right here hey range extender top tier it's a top tier badge like i i, I really feel like this is the first badge that i'm gonna put on every time 
on any bill. It helps you step further away from the basket, whether you can shoot, you can't shoot, any of that stuff. I feel like range extender just helps you get away further and further and further uh, from the basket. Something that I would say was a, uh, you know, a B or a C tier badge or something like that. Like, uh, I mean, steady shooter, I really want to put it ish tier, but some people swear by steady shooter. Now to me, I feel like any badge that's going to make you miss open shots, but help you hit contested shots, I really feel like it's a garbage badge because I just feel like, like why are you encouraging people to take bad shots? Now, what y'all saw on the uh, on the other joint, which is 100% true, by the way, the video that I put out yesterday about the My Player build and all that, that's 110% true. I got validation, all of that stuff. It's true, all of it is. Steady shooter is gonna be a playmaking badge, so when the guy passes you the ball, you'll be a better shooter. It's gonna apply the attributes instead of it saying, you know, uh, it's like more like I guess I threw you a bad pass, I threw you a late ass pass or something, then you're gonna be able to use it. Like using a shooting badge on this, I just don't see anybody going out there and saying that, you know, I'm gonna take bad shots. Now, another badge I would put in that same vein, I'm gonna put Dead Eye. And if you're a spot up, and let's say if you're a guy that plays off the dribble and stuff like that, like T. Mizzle is a dribbler, he probably will never use Dead Eye because he's going to hit somebody so hard that they're not going to be able to recover. He's going to be able to shoot the ball. Um, you know, most of the time he's going to be uncontested. But if you're a spot up shooter and you're always shooting the ball with somebody bearing down on you, I feel like I feel like Dead Eye is an A tier badge, but it's not a must have. It's always it's one of the badges where I'm always going to add once I've got some stuff, once I've got some stuff going. Conversely, Hot Zone Hunter. Hot Zone Hunter, I feel like it's probably one of the best badges in the game. Like when I start out, this is what I'm doing. I'm going, I'm going uh, range extender first, and then I'm gonna go with uh, catch and shoot. Where's my catch and shoot? Boom. I'm going with catch and shoot, range extender, and then I'm gonna go, go with hot start. Like, I really feel like those are the S tier badges, especially if you're a spot up. If you're not a spot up, obviously you're gonna move catch and shoot down here to probably B tier, C tier, something like that. But I feel like if you're a spot up shooter, catch and shoot is probably one of the best badges in the game. Now, some people feel like it doesn't help a whole lot. I feel like once I, ca once I get catch and shoot, I feel like it just normalizes the catch to where, like I think I had it on gold or something last year, and it really wasn't doing much for me, I had it on silver. But once I put it on Hall of Fame, it was just like, it just normalized the catch for me. I could always go up and uh, shoot the ball a lot more effectively. Now, another badge, now these are two badges I'm gonna talk about that people probably would put in lower tiers, but in terms of effectiveness, in terms of effectiveness, I would say these are two top tier badges. Volume Shooter and uh, Volume Shooter and Hot Start are two top tier badges. As far as if you can hit your first shot and you can keep keep hitting your shots, like my God, those things, they work together and they really give you that boost. If you can hit your first shot, your first jump shot with volume shooter and a uh, hot start put together, your ability to hit shots is just going to increase. So you're gonna get the hot start boost, then you're gonna shoot the next one, then you're gonna get volume shooter, just gonna keep going up. You really shouldn't miss. And then when you pair them with this guy right here, Green Machine, in terms of effectiveness, these are S tier badges. In terms of effectiveness. Now, in terms of importance, I'm gonna put them down here. I will bronze them. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I will bronze these guys. I, ain't gonna, I got Green Machine on Hall of Fame. If you can put Green Machine on Hall of Fame, put it on Hall of Fame. If not, Silver, Silver should be good enough for you. But in terms of effectiveness, just, just saying, should you put them on or not? Hot Start and Volume Shooter, if you can afford to put them on bronze, put them on bronze, they really work. If you can put Green Machine on something higher than, than Silver, bro, I would say put it, I mean, if you can put it on Hall of Fame, put it on Hall of Fame, but I'm telling you, that badge is very effective. But I know everybody don't have the points right there, so we have to put it down here. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna rank them in terms, of, in terms of effectiveness first. So we're gonna rank them in terms of effectiveness and all of that, then we'll come back and we'll do we'll do some other stuff. Deep fades, I feel like it's an ish tier badge. This guy right here, very effective. Um, in terms of in terms of just how this game is, are they gonna let you hit the slightly early, slightly late, and stuff like that? Very effective badge. Uh, this guy tireless shooter, 
very effective. Um, the importance, I feel like the importance brings it down a little bit just because I'm never gonna take a tireless shooter shot. But if you're a guy that shoots off the dribble and moves around, I think it's a very important badge. I would probably put it here in uh, silver or what have you, clutch shooter. That badge works. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got it on Hall of Fame because I have 30, 30 points. I have it on Hall of Fame. And when I am telling you the difference between not having it on and having it on is like night and day, it's literally like night and day. I'm like, damn, I would have missed that shot if I hadn't had on clutch shooter. At the end of the game, you're getting them. Slippery off ball. I feel like it's an ish tier badge. But there are uses for it. And you can break people's ankles off ball and stuff. But most people, if you've got a guard that likes dribbling the ball, that guard going to tell you, get your ass in that corner and just stay over there. You're not really going to get a chance to use it. Like, that's mostly for... I ain't gonna say it's a bot badge because a lot of people do play a game where they run around off ball. For me, it's not that important, so I'm gonna put it in the C tier. Pump fake maestro, ish tier badge. Come on, man. Stop playing with me, man. Pump fake maestro? Bro, what? I guess if you're in the painter, you can probably pump fake, pump fake, pump fake, but yo, it is what it is. Corner specialist. Yeah, in terms of effectiveness, it is very effective. I'm not gonna lie. It's a very effective badge. Not gonna lie. Difficult shots. I would say it's semi-effective. I would put it uh, if you're a, if you're a guard or something like that. I would say you know put it here, and then this guy right here. I would say uh, pick and pop. I don't think you even really need pick and pop this year. Like you can pick and pop and you can do your thing, but you can get buckets without picking and popping like that. So this is what I would say are my tiers as far as how effective I feel like the badges are. Like, um, I would probably even say difficult shots because it's like they don't even really want you to hit them, but they done nerfed difficult shots so bad that I feel like difficult shots belongs in the B tier, like silver or something like that at best. Obviously, you're gonna put on Hall of Fame if you're somebody that shoots off the dribble. I'm just talking about how effective it is right now. Now, that's, that's how I would say as, as far as effectiveness. This is how I would I would rank the badges. Now, if I'm gonna rank them in, in, in terms of importance, then I would say, I would do it like this. We're gonna put hot start down, hot start down here. I don't even think you really, really need it like that. Like I said, we, you don't really need it like that. Um, I'm gonna put it on, but I'm gonna put it on bronze or something like that. These guys Hall of Fame, I feel like you could probably get away with, with corner specialists. You could probably turn corner specialists off. Unless you shoot exclusively from the corner, you could probably turn corner specialists off. I probably wouldn't put it on nothing higher than silver. Uh, but if I shoot exclusively from the corner like my guy on PlayStation, I would put it on Hall of Fame. Like, if that's the only place I'm really going to shoot the ball. Those are probably only the only changes I would make. Like, I would, like, clutch shooter, I guess you could put it down here, too, because you really, really don't need clutch shooter. You could get by without it. You could probably put it on silver or bronze or something like that. It's not that important. You just want to have some clutch in you. But this is what I would say. Like, I feel like Green Machine is really important. If you're a shooter shooter, if you shoot a lot, I feel like Green Machine is important, especially if you're somebody that's a spot up, catch and shoot type person that you know you're gonna get a bunch of shots. Like, I gotta hit them shots when Brute gives it to me. So I feel like Green Machine helps me out a lot, but I could get by without it. So I would put Green Machine probably a tear down. I'll probably even put it right here in terms of importance. Because if I did not have the badges to work with, I wouldn't do it. But these are the badges that I would, that I would Definitely like this is this is how I would do it like the badges that I absolutely I feel like I wouldn't even play the game without catch and shoot hot zone hunter um range extender and Flexible release if I got those I'm good then when we start adding the cherries on top That's what I'm gonna say. Give me dead eye. I, I can use dead eye here I probably slide dead eye in there on silver or at least bronze somewhere and then after that everything else is just a hey, corner specialist You know, that's 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 cherry on top of uh, moving shots, difficult shots, cherry on top. The the rest of them are cherries, cherries on top. Like I said, uh, clutch shooter is an important badge, especially at the end of games when people bearing down on you. It's just like you don't even feel it, but it's a cherry on top badge, and so is Green Machine. Also, uh, pick and popper, I really don't use it. Slippery off ball, I don't use it. And I explain hot uh, hot start and volume shooter. They are very effective, but you really don't even need them. Um, they're just the cherry on top badges. The rest of these badges, I wouldn't be caught dead using. I'm not even gonna lie to you, man. Like it's it's like it is what it is. Like I'm I'm not gonna use any of these badges. If you're a big man, 
maybe deep fades, but I even put on deep fades, man. It feel like it didn't even really do nothing. And I got like a 90 fade away. Maybe it's because I don't have that much post post uh, control or something like that, but you know, it is what it is. Anyway, man, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with this in terms of importance? This is in terms of importance right here if you want to start shooting the basketball. My other one was in terms of of um effectiveness like there are a lot of badges that are very effective in the game but uh you might not want to use them just because you may not have the badge to do it with and i don't think this looks all that different from um from the 2k from the 2k lab version man i mean it's like you know they put dead eye and green machine uh you know we got dead eye and green machine in different spots everything else is just like whatever whatever the whatever tiers or whatever like that they got corner specialists Probably the same place. Yeah, I got corner special the same place and stuff like that. It's in the B tier. Um, and then, like we said, the ish tier. Uh, not, not well, the C tier, you know, just not that important. But uh, I put some of them badges. They not going to do it. I'm going to put them badges in the ish tier. That's what I'm going to do. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Do you think that, that we got it right? Do you think it's about right? Do you think it's something that, that y'all would think? Where would you, what changes would you make to it and stuff like that? And uh, let me know. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel.